I sent you a comment on YouTube and you asked me to send you your info here. All right. Um, I have a new site I started last year in March. Okay, so it's basically a year old. However, I was in a Google business domain, so I decided to buy a domain name in November, December. Okay, so the site's not very old. It's like a month old or something. Yeah, it looks new. Um, I hired someone on Fiverr to make the website. I thought it would come with content. It did not. <laughs> um, I mean, if... That's okay. not that's not necessarily the worst thing. You don't really want fi the Fiverr guy writing all the content for your website. I, I wouldn't think. Uh, My guess is they're just throwing it in Chat GPT now or something comparable. Yeah, even if they weren't, I mean, it's it's a, a bit more. You know, it, you you know the content is like SEO, but and building the website's kind of <laughs> pretty basic. It's just get a normal site up and running. Um, mm. Anyway. Uh, did not come with content, so I had to do all the content myself. I would just like some tips on how I can get it ranked for local maps and organic. Okay, so it's a local site. I have done 80 citations through Bright Local, though many did not show on Google yet. Um, let's see, let me get rid of some of this. Sorry guys, one second. <coughs> All right. Um, so 80 citations through Bright Local, although not many shown Google yet. I made the mistake and hired someone on Fiverr for a few backlinks. <laughs> we, we get people that say this all the time when they come to us for, for link building stuff. Anyway. Um, we all started on Fiverr, uh, you know, so it's don't don't worry about it. I used your platform for some social signals. I'm currently ranked fourth on the map pack because of the geographical location of my business. The competition in spot three is new as well. He is just closer to town. Is it possible to beat them out with the location? I tried my hand at a few blog posts, but I don't think the quality is very good. OK, so yeah. Uh, sounds like you're kind of just getting started here, right? 80 citations. I wouldn't worry about them showing up on Google. They're citations. You can't screw a citation up if you're just putting your like NAP in there and write, you know, filling out the business description and stuff. Don't worry about it. Um, uh, I made the mistake and hired someone for Fiverr. Okay. So you might have got some bad backlinks from Fiverr. We'll go ahead and check that out and see what's going on there. It's not the end of the world. You just started the site and Google's pretty good at ignoring crap these days but we'll see what you did uh, but it's probably not the end of the world you know you you just haven't been you didn't buy you haven't been buying bad backlinks for a very long time so it's easier to fix it at this point um currently ranked fourth on map pack which is not bad i'd say it's pretty good <laughs> yeah. um i mean i guess you'd want to be uh top three right um but yeah um <clears throat> blah, blah. but with that new you know being that new and um yeah I'm guessing you're kind of writing this content that's going in there if it didn't come with content. Yeah, he said he's um, writing all the content, but he doesn't really know what he's doing. He, and he doesn't think okay. it's very good. I got, yeah, it, I mean, it looks okay, actually. There's some tips that we got for you, but... Um, um, let's yeah. see what else he says here. So the one thing I'll say before we get started is you're talking about your competitor in spot three. Uh, you know, we're, we're not big local SEO guys, but we do know a little bit. And we, uh, I think Nick's st still doing a little bit of local. But... The way, yeah, still mess with it. the way map pack works and it's going more and more this way is it's getting more and more important of like where the actual location is and where the searcher is searching from. Um, like uh, how close, like the proximity, proximity, proximity is like super important for ranking. Um, and I, I am, I'm not professional enough to really know much of a way around that. And I don't even really know if there is one. I know that all the big local guys I've seen are all been like complaining, uh, you know, basically saying that this sucks because they can't, you know, just do all the crap they were doing before and get away with ranking, uh, you know, far away. Google wants to show people stuff that's close to where they're searching from. You know, it's just, it makes sense, right? Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, but we'll see if it's possible so and we'll I, see how things are going. What's up? Well, I was just going to say before I forget, because 
something kind of popped into my mind. If proximity is going to be, you know, that valuable, then ultimately when you're looking for an address, um, you know, for your business or when you're, and of course I'm thinking about this from standpoint of like an SEO, uh, then I would get an address that's in the center of the proximity, uh, with the highest traffic volume. Mm -hmm. Right. But then that could increase competition. So something to consider. So first of all, I just want to would say your site is very small. It's got six URLs indexed on Google right now. Right. Uh, I would definitely keep adding to the website. It looks like probably not all of it is indexed. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like he's got some new blog posts going up within the past uh, month or so. So those are probably taking a little bit longer to index. Um, but yeah, keep going. Keep adding to the site. Um, you know, um, yeah, because just six, you know, six URLs index is a, is a pretty dang small site. And I kind of want to beef that up. It's going to make everything easier. Um, I don't see any locations pages. Maybe it's just ranking yeah. the home page. <clears throat> and then on the, yeah. Um, so there, I mean, yeah, there's a few things on, on page since I've been looking over here. One of them is on the blog when you, oh. It is there. Never mind. It's just invisible. The uh, header menu. Um, On your homepage, homie, go ahead and change your H1. Get a keyword in there. Yeah, <laughs> not logo. That's what's showing up in uh, Google as well. Uh, Plat. You know, so your your H1 on each page is like your most important um, thing, like actual on the page as far as. Uh, on-page SEO goes, you know, of course, like the URL and like the title are important as well, like the, the title that shows up on the SERP, the meta title. But the H1 is like, you know, the looks like the title on the page. And uh, it's really important to get your main keywords in there if possible. Um, you might want to check out our uh, on-page basics article. If you just uh, Google Sir links a lot on-page SEO, it's the only article we have on on-page SEO. I don't tell you like the most important stuff that you absolutely got to do. Um, yeah, there's no no interlinking. Um, know, that's at huge. least in these blog articles I'm looking at. That's going to help um, get some of these pages indexed, I would imagine. Um, for the services page, you have services set up as one page that's broken down into all the main things that y'all will do. Mm. However, what I would do is I would Just go into each of those individual SERPs, yeah, and I would check if it's an individual page that ranks there in that SERP or whether it's kind of like a hub page like this. My guess is typically you want your services pages to be one page per service, yeah. right? Um, and then, like Chris said, the same thing for your locations. Well, um, you might- so even if you've only got one. I think oh. he's just trying to rank his homepage oh, for the location. Homepage? So just just optimize the homepage for the location. Sure. Uh, it should be fine. Um, but yeah, very good thing. Very good call out with the, the services. Definitely split those up. Probably, well, look, do what Nick said. Look at the SERPs first. Make sure they should go on separate pages. But um, I'm feeling like they most yeah, likely will. Are, that's, um, yeah. And yeah, interlinking is huge, huge, huge. <clears throat> Definitely do not sleep on interlinking. I've seen like massive results from just adding like more interlinking to stuff. Um, some smart use of anchor text. Um, not really seeing interlinking anywhere um, except no. for this contact page. Um, yeah, I think honestly, between interlinking, if this is a really low competition metro, which I, I think it is, um, interlinking, working on those services pages, splitting them up, um, I think could give you a pretty solid advantage uh, sure. on page wise. Yeah, if you just go and optimize the home page better, split up those services pages, keep adding to your blog, get some interlinking going throughout your whole site, including your blog, but not just your blog. Um, I mean that all, that stuff alone is gonna is gonna be a, I think a pretty big deal for you. Um, Something else that I feel like we've probably never talked about, but I was just thinking about it is um, syndicate your blog posts to you know GMB and other socials because if I look up your brand, 
Um, yeah, I don't see you know, any socials on here. Some of that stuff coming up. Yeah. Um, so if you haven't gone that route, like you've done citations, et cetera, then that would be advantageous as well. Yeah, get on Facebook, get, get on YouTube, GMB. get on Instagram, link them all on your website, get some posts on each one rolling. Share stuff. You can just, anytime yeah. you post on your website, you can just post it on everything, you know, just get, get it all and links going everywhere, you know, from all of them to each other and stuff. And each post having links back to your site and everything. It's just a really good practice. Ties the room. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and go back over to so, the off page. Do you have anything else you wanted to say about this, the website? No, I think that's, I think that covers it okay. really. Um, All right. So, and we've got six minutes to go for 25. We got this cause there's not much here. Yeah, I think so too. So yeah. off page, uh, no traffic quite yet. Less than one a month, uh, organic keywords, three referring domains, 99, which is kind of crazy considering it's a, um, you know, a service-based company in a small metro. DR59. Yeah, pretty crazy. What is going on? Whatever there? link blast he got from Fiverr includes some .gov uh, links yeah, and stuff like that. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I think that's what boot I looked at it too and I was like, what the fuck so is yeah, going whatever on you, um, So yeah, whatever you ordered, <laughs> they basically, they pumped the crap out of your DR, man. That's they, amazing. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Like... You just service, sell guest posts um, on the site. <laughs> seems kind of seems kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> uh, where I think you kind of messed up um, with your order because technically you could have done this and considered it um, pillow linking, um, but you got a little aggressive, overly aggressive with your anchors. Um, so you know you did a good amount of naked URL. Um, but then we jump into some uh, money keywords using pillow mm. style links, which is not yeah, advisable. Yeah, no, he's got a ton of examples um, up here. Yeah, so I wouldn't fret about that. Um, however, I would change what I'm doing uh, as far as link building from here on out with my anchors, and I'd get a little bit more conservative um, with yeah, things. Yeah, so start um, using branded yeah. anchors. Brand, you like where? Where's your mm -hmm. branded anchors? I don't see any. But you like, there's no anchor text in the name of your company. It's all this exact match, and then just the URL. So yeah. start building a ton of branded anchors. Um, you can do more URL anchors if you want without like the HTTP, of course. Um, not really seeing any much of that. Um, Branded some randoms, URL, what, miscellaneous anchor. He's got some miscellaneous in there, which is good. You can do some like long tail stuff and just kind of topical stuff. Like, you know, it could be like in, you know, in the name of your town. Just stuff that's not really a keyword, but you can get like location kind of relevance in there or uh, niche relevance in there without it being a keyword, if you know what I mean. You can just like add extra words and just stuff mm -hmm. you're not really targeting. I, I, I really like to do a lot of that kind of stuff as well. Um, but yeah, you, you got to diversify these anchors because things are looking pretty, uh, It's this is very aggressive right now. Um, definitely not the greatest start. Uh, so he's got going on in backlinks. Um, awesome. We got foreign stuff in here. We got gov stuff in here. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. For a local site, <laughs> not... <laughs> you picked a service that, uh, really blew you out internationally with some, uh, yeah, porn.gov sites, etc. Again, don't freak out about it. <clears throat> Not the best recourse of action. If you're trying to do local, we always so advise like PBNs competitors. In there on like yeah, weird yeah. TLDs. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> guessing it was one of those, we'll do your SEO backlinking campaign for one month. We'll um, get you a DR60 things. site in one week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that is probably one of the better manipulations I think I've ever seen with a uh, cheap link. Before you before uh, you get confused though, not, so you he's talking about just manipulating the A reps number. So A reps now says right. your DR is super high. Google, on the other hand, obviously is does not like this. You know they're 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 not well, rewarding you at least yet. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it could it could work for a little bit, but you're gonna want to clean this up. You're gonna want to diversify. Uh, would you would you recommend disavowing, or would you would you just keep going? Nah. nah, I'd just keep going. I'd get more conservative with my anchors. I'd do only high quality links from here on out. Homepage only um, for now. 
but if I'm being completely honest as well, <clears throat> uh, I would probably just top on and fix all that on page stuff as quickly as possible, tie the room together with my socials. And I wouldn't be surprised if in a metro like this, you already start beating out competitors. Um, at that point, like, you know, once you're done with that stuff, go ahead. Or I guess at the same time, you could put in an order, like a small order um, for high quality guest posts or niche edits or something like that. This is awesome. This, they, they've created, oh man. Anyway, um, yeah, so start building normal links. Don't worry about disavowing quite yet. If you're not seeing any kind of movement for like a few more months or something, uh, you might want to start considering a disavow from the, the Fiverr stuff. But for now, you can just move forward. Natural links, link to your homepage only. We're talking about stuff like get, uh, niche edits and guest posts. Get some local links if you can. Um, get on your, um, your social profiles and stuff like that. Um, you can even post on like forums or blogs like around your, uh, around your town. Um, yourself even if you want to or if you can find a service but you haven't really had good luck with services this far uh, and like nick said natural anchors only get a bunch of branded in there url without the http uh, some topical stuff some long tail stuff do not do any keyword anchors for now just do everything home page only and uh they'll also you know remember you've got a partial match domain so no matter what as you're doing branded you're going to be injecting relevance um which is awesome you know we love partial match or exact match domains here yeah that's very true uh yeah so use that brand name use that url really take advantage of that i kind of i completely spaced on that um all right um how long did hey that was perfect time it was a little long still we ended at 25 it was faster than the last one uh, though still pretty long Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic, as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks, and happy ranking.